Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding bank account summary 2 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in such problems. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called users with two different columns, account and the name, where account is the primary key for this table. And each row of this table contains the account number of each user in the bank. Okay. We are also given a second table called transactions with four different columns, transaction ID, amount, account, and transaction transacted on, right? Trans ID is the primary key for this table. Okay, each row of this table contains all changes made to all accounts. Okay, so basically debited as well as credited, right? Amount is positive if the user received money and the negative if they transferred money. All accounts start with a balance of zero. Okay, we are asked to write a SQL query to report the name and balance of users with a balance higher than 10,000. The balance of an account is equal to the sum of the amounts of all transactions involving that account. Okay, the order of the result does not matter. Okay, so we are given this example and let's go through this example. So we are given a users table with three different people and their account numbers and these are the transactions and then we need to return the name of the person wh whose balance is more than 10,000 for this account, right? So this account belongs to Alice. For Alice, we have 14,000 minus 3,000, so 11,000. So obviously we should include Alice and the balance is 11,000. For this one, uh, we have, this is belongs to Bob and for Bob, it's only 1,000. So we need to exclude them. And then for this, this belongs to Charlie. Charlie is 6, 6, 12 and 12 minus 4, 8. So 8,000. So we only include Alice and the corresponding balance was 11,000. And yeah, so this is what we output. Okay. So how we can do this? The first thing that we should do is we should merge the information between the transactions table and the users table because the final output should contain the name of the person rather than their account number. If they didn't ask for that, so we, we wouldn't need this users table as well. The only thing we need this users table is because we want to associate the names of the accounts in this transaction table. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to merge this information. So from the transactions table, alias as T, we can perform join and, and we can perform a left join as well as an inner join. But both will be giving a same result. So let's at this time go with inner join, right? So perform an inner join with the users table, alias as U on, on what column we are performing the join? T dot account is equal to u dot account so basically this column and this column okay so now once we have this so let me write what this new joined table would look like so for example transaction id 1 account was 900001 the amount was 7000 the date was you know whatever 202801 this was the transaction date and then uh, what is the name associated with this person it would be alice and so on right so what we can do now is we can group by the name right and so the second thing that we should do is group by the name and name belongs to which table users so u dot name now we are also required to only keep those names where the balance was higher than 10,000, right? So what we need to do is we need to filter out certain rows. And since we need to filter things based on an aggregate value, why aggregate value? Because balance means sum of all the transactions, right? So in that case, whenever we are filtering based on a aggregate value then we use having not where so having the sum of the balance column or sum of the amount column right 
greater than 10,000. So you are going to only keep those rows and then you can return the name of the person as well as the sum of the amount column and alias it as balance right so let's go ahead and check if this works i don't think we had to order yeah so there is no order required we can go ahead and try to run this to see if this works or not okay so this is accepted and our output is same as expected output let me sum it to see if it passes all the test cases or not so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this problem so this is very basic problem the only thing that we need to keep in mind is that since we are here only filtering out based on an aggregate value so we should use having clause not where clause and the rest is very simple you just group by and filter out few rows and then you just return the names of the people and the sum of the entire amount or basically sum of all the transactions that they made and alias it as balance so yeah let me know guys if you guys find this video useful and until then see you guys in the next video